يا من هو الله الذي لا اله الا هو الرحمن الرحيم الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الخالق Assalamu alaikum. Peace, blessings, and mercies of Allah be with one and all. Welcome to another in the series of the presentation of the Electric Mosque's teachings of Islam. Facebook and YouTube, Electric Mosque, Guyana. And I'm your friend, your host, your brother, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan. My dear beloved friends and families, thank you for tuning in and to be a part of this presentation. And I urge you to, as you're about to, to listen on, if you're listening on television or on YouTube or Facebook, call your young ones. Call and advise your family and friends how to reach this on YouTube and Facebook. And on NTN, Guyana television station, on Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. and Sunday afternoons repeat at 4 p.m. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmidin. Iyakana Budu. Iyakana Sta'in. Hidina Sirot al Mustakin. Sirot al Ladin. Onum Talaihim. Garel Magdu. Bialaihim. What a dooli. Garel. We have done so far three parts of the divine being, beloved divine friends and families. And now we are about to do the fourth as we have finished three. But I want to give you my salam, my respects and best wishes to each and every one of you, prayers and blessings of good health. And in the end, I will do that little piece that people like out there, my friends, my fans, and they can touch as they believe to get some help, the sound on water, the, the, um, or any kind of halal purified liquids, even on the medicine, I will recite a few words that many people believe that it helps them, even as they listen or they put their water or something of that sort. My friends and families, I want to go back a little bit uh, to like a paragraph or about six or seven lines before I actually con commence the part four. So one part here is going now about how the soul of a man could arise. <coughs> and how a man's soul could work with the divine being in that true relationship. One example may be considered in greater detail, and this is the example that they will give of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, on whom peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. That of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, a solitary man, arose in the midst of a whole nation which was sunk deep in all kinds of vice, degradation, and superstition. He had no power at his back. Not even a man to second him. And without any preliminaries at all, he set his hand to the unimaginable and apparently impossible task of the reformation. Not merely of that one nation, but through it of the whole 
of humanity, not merely at that one nation, and I'm repeating for emphasis, but through it of the whole of humanity. He started with that one force, the force divine, which makes it possible for the impossible to become possible because of the power of the creator that one can touch through meditation and through his heart was so pure. And the angel recited to him, Read in the name of thy Lord. Arise and warn, and thy Lord do magnify. So he has to learn to read. Or he has to read or recite. He had the skill. He never learned to read and write. But Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, had the skill to retain and to recite. Therefore read. And it was to what? Arise and warn and thy Lord do magnify. The cause was divine. And it was on divine help that its success depended. With every new dawn, every day the talk grew harder and the opposition waxed stronger. The haters became tougher until to an onlooker there was nothing but disappointment everywhere he could not penetrate the hearts and minds of these peoples of power nonetheless his determination grew stronger with the strength of the opposition and while in the earlier revelation there was only general statements of the triumph of the cause and the failure of the enemy, those statements become clearer and more definite as the prospects to all outward appearances grew more hopeless. Some of these verses in the order of the revelation are By the grace of thy Lord, thou art not mad, because they told him he was mad. Allah revealed this to him. And thine is surely a reward never to be cut off. Holy Quran 68.2.3 Take note of these quotes. Holy Quran 68.2.3 Surely we have given thee abundance of good. Allah protected him from his enemies. And he can never be cut off. And is good outpouring unto him. 108.1 Chapter 108.1 Surely with difficulty is ease. 94.5 When things are hard, you get respite. You get calm. After a calm, after the storm is a calm. So with this difficulty is ease with God. And surely the latter state is better for thee than the former. And soon will thy Lord give thee so much Thou wilt be well pleased. And when he fell into depression, the Creator Himself is telling him, He will give you so much and that you will become happy. Quran 93, 4 and 5. Surely it is the word of an honored messenger, the possessor of strength, having an honorable place with the Lord of the throne. So, so one who Atal is announcing to the world. He is an honored messenger. He possesses great strength and an honorable place on the throne that is in the kingdom of the Creator and Lord God of the worlds. Quran 1, 19, 20. And during a part of the night, keep awake by it. That is the Quran. So this is where we are encouraged to read Tahajjud. But how many of us are able to get up at that time? Keep awake by it. That is the Quran. Maybe thy Lord will raise thee to a position of great glory. 1779. So he is encouraged.
to keep up and do prayer in the early mornings. Keep awake. And the Holy Quran says, O man, we have not revealed the Quran to thee that thou mayest be unsuccessful. 21 2. So God is talking not only to the Prophet in the Quran, but to us, the people. Here, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator and lord of the worlds, is addressing us. O oh man, we have not revealed the Quran to thee that thou mayest be unsuccessful. It was revealed so that you and I, that we may all be successful. Successful in achievements and in spiritual development. Quran 20, 1 and 2. On that day, the believers will rejoice in Allah's help. 30, 4 and 5. Quran. We certainly help our messenger and those who believe in this world's life on the day when the wit witnesses arise. We certainly help our messenger and those who believe in this world's life on the day when the witnesses arise. God will help his prophet, his messenger, and those who believe, you and I, in this world's life. So, so simple. On the, the day when the witnesses will arise, when we all have to raise again to face the Creator. Quran 40, 51. Blessed is he who, if he pleases, will give thee better gardens than thee. Gardens in which rivers flow, and he will give thee palaces. 25 10. Now, some people say, What well, we're talking about palaces, and you're gonna. Well, it might not be palaces that you and I see kings and big shots living in, but it might be things of that caliber that we value spiritually that gives us great joy and achievements. Allah, that's 2510, Holy Quran. Allah has promised those of you who believe and do good that He will surely make them rulers in the earth as He made those them rulers, and that He will surely establish for them their religion, which He has chosen for them, and that He will surely give them security in exchange after their fear. So God has always been there and will always be there. And we know how Islam raised and how many nations came to Islam. And Islam conquered because they were trying to destroy the religion. 24, 55. And there will be no fear, but there will be prosperity, security in exchange after their fear. He it is who sent his security in ex exchange after fear. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and religion of truth that he may make it prevail over all religions, 48, 28. He sent his prophet, Muhammad, our prophet, with the guidance and trueness in religion and faith. And he, Allah, through our works, will make it prevail over all faiths. 4828 Quran. In like manner, the end of opposition is described more clearly in the later revelations than in the earlier. Although that opposition grew more and more powerful as days went on, the following three verses belong in three different periods. So let us look at the three verses that came to three different periods. Till when they see that which they are promised, they will know who is weaker in helpers and less in number. 7224. Or they say, We are a host allied together to help each other. Soon shall the hosts be rooted. And they will show their backs. They will retreat. 
24, 44, and 45. Say to those who those do disbelieve, speak to the disbelievers, you shall soon be vanquished. 311, talking about the Meccans who tried to destroy the Prophet and will try to destroy Medina and destroy the religion of Islam. But they shall be vanquished, and vanquished they were. Say to those who disbelieve, you shall soon be vanquished. You believe, disbeliever, you shall be vanquished. Say to those, and all this did happen a few years after things had been foretold. So once these prophecies were made, and some people like to say Islam and Prophet Muhammad didn't bring any prophecies, you know. Because we don't push the idea of prophecies. We don't call this prophecies. We call this wisdom and knowledge. But it is all prophecies. Because it's being prophesied. And all this did happen a few years after these things had been foretold. Though at that time there was nothing to justify such prophecies. And all the circumstances were against them. Because things were so badly off. When these prophecies came... And Prophet Muhammad would have advised that these things would be happening. He would jeered and mocked at them. Because everything was against them. No one could possibly have foreseen what was so clearly stated as a certain to come about. And no human power could have brought to utter failure the whole nation with all its resources ranged against a solitary man. Let me read that again. Listen attentively. And no human power could have brought to utter failure the whole nation with all its resources ranged against the solitary man and determined to destroy him. Divine revelation thus affords the clearest and surest testimony of the existence of God, the divine being, in whose knowledge past, present, and future are alike, and who controls both the forces of nature and the destiny of man. How beautifully put, my beloved divine friends, family, brothers, and sisters. Now, the powerful wisdom of the unity of God. I smiled when I was thinking of it. We believe in the one God doctrine. That there is only one and only one God. And he is unseen. We cannot make a statue to represent our creator. Even though he has 99 names or attributes, we cannot create an image. All the religions have this concept of the one God doctrine. In Sanatana Dharm, one of the oldest faiths or religions, the creator, Brahma, then some would say Shiva, the same personality, or Krishna, the same personality, that is. But it is the one God doctrine. And then eventually it digressed into many gods, three and a quarter million plus. with numerous demigods. And in Sanatana Dharm, great religion, you know, I have, I, I have no problem with them. I study Sanatana Dharm and Buddhism and other faiths. I have the Bible, the Holy Quran, and so on. I have them. I study them. And that's why I do not attack or critique religions. However, 
the religion of Islam, we were told the Quran would be preserved. Because it is a fact that over many decades, and um, Swami Prabhupada indicated that many kings and self-made lords, men, interfered with the Bhagavad Gita and other texts. And this is why he named it uh, a Bhagavad Gita as it is. This is how he best could have put it together. And I respect him very much. And I met that man in Canada, Quebec, Montreal in 1973. Now, in the Holy Bible, we are taught about the one God, yet still they turn him into three. Jesus Christ only worshipped Yahweh Elohim. And in his language of Aramic, his language in Aramic, the word for God is Allah. A-L-L-E-H or A-L-E. So you can check what was his language by just Googling. You guys in modern civilization are so fortunate. Just Google. What is the, was the language of Jesus Christ? But his name wasn't Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ never heard of Jesus Christ. Jesus, his real name was Yeshua. That's an English name. And this is precisely what I'm trying to say. People interfered. He taught the pureness of Judaism, Yeshua. They, in the English, it as Jesus Christ. And he worshipped all the time. And the main, he speak all the time in the Holy Bible about this one God. And about the Ten Commandments. Hear you Israel, the Lord your God is one God. And you shall love this God with all your hearts and all your soul. And this is in the book, the first commandment, the book of Genesis, where Moses speak, spoke it. And him, he, Yeshua, that you guys call Jesus, also repeated it in the book according to Matthew. Because nobody knows if really Matthew wrote it. Because it's according to Matthew. All the, the books in the Bible will tell you it's according, according to According to, according to. So that this 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 is the the reality of life. You see, look. This is the um, the King James version. So kings translated, and if you check the history of King James, you will find some very disappointing information as normal for kings. The gospel according to St. Matthew. According. But in there, the same Hero Israel, the Lord your God, is one God, is embellished in there. And he, Yeshua, you call him Jesus, worship one God and he left an indelible prayer. That I've loved since I was a child. I learned it in in, 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 in in little kindergarten and first standard in the Skeldon Anglican School. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed or hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us from evil. It is, it is, it is so one God, ladies and gentlemen. So the, the Bhagavad Gita, uh, Christian speaks about the one God. And he spoke about the demigods, those men who reach great saintly heights by meditation and they were able to get certain small amount of powers given unto them. But those demigods can only help with material things, material achievement. And according to the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna 
is the one who could help and give you salvation. So, just to give you this idea. Now, what about the Holy Quran? And this one God doctrine. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kul say. Kul. Kul hu la wahad. Allah husamad. Lam yulid. Wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakulluhu kufu wa nahad. Say. He is Allah. Say. He is God Almighty. The absolute. The eternal. He beget not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like unto him. One of the smallest chapters and the most powerful. Now, when we Muslims recite that three times, it's like you have recited the entire Quran. Because it is the fundamental of Islam, the religion of the one God doctrine. Say he is Allah, the absolute, the eternal. That he beget not. Nor is he begotten. And there are many writings in the Bhagavad Gita, all the scriptures that describe something like that. Now, go and make a statue or an image of that personality. Now, all the basic principles of Islam are fully dealt with in the Quran. And so is the doctrine of faith in God, of which the cornerstone is belief in the unity of God, Tawheed. The best known expression of divine unity is that contained in the declaration of La ilaha illallah. La ilaha, there is one and only one God. It is made up of four words, la, illa, that which is worshipped, illa, and Allah, the proper name of the divine being. These few words, which are commonly rendered into English as meaning, there is no God but Allah. You know, some people translate this, there is no God but God. I mean, it doesn't sound right. In proper English, it should be, there is no God but Allah, not there is no God but, but, but God. It conveys the significance that there is nothing which deserves to be worshipped except Allah, the absolute, the eternal, the creator, the unseen God, which you cannot create an image out of. It is this confession which is combined with the confession of the prophethood of Muhammad. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Muhammad Rasulullah, la ilaha illallah, there is not... There's one and only one God and Muhammad Rasulullah because he is the bringer of the wisdom and the knowledge from Allah. Admits a man and just those words can bring a man into the fold of Islam. The unity of God according to the Quran implies that God is one in his person, one in his attributes and one in his works. His oneness in his person means that there is no, no plurality of gods, not plurality of persons in the Godhead. Like you will say, uh, this, the, the, some Christians will say, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We don't have that in, in here. Just like how Jesus worshipped, he worshipped only the one God, the Allah, or the Yahweh Elohim in, in, in the Hebrew language. His likeness in attributes implies that no other being possess one or more of the divine attributes in perfection. His oneness in works implies that none can do what God has done or which God may do. The doctrine of unity is beautifully summed up in one of the shortest and earliest chapters of the Quran. And that is what I just give you. Say he is Allah, is one. The absolute, the eternal of Allah is he on whom all depend. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and none is like unto him. Say, He is Allah, the one on whom all depends. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and none like, like, is like unto him. The Holy Quran, chapter 12.
friends and family, brothers and sisters. I end with that on part four of The Divine Being. Please share, check Facebook, YouTube, tell your friends and family, and share with your friends and families this on Facebook and YouTube to get the knowledge out there. Remember, I am a self-taught with a few imams I listened and I learned as a child growing up. And I'm no scholar, but I believe in Islam, the oneness of God, and I am not trained by any school of thought who con which will control my mind and make me a kind of um, blind bat. I'm a thinker, I am free, and I cannot be controlled by any dogma of a, or a school of thought. Friends and family, your brother Haji Dr. Roshan can. Assalamu alaikum. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Heal. Bless the water. Bless the medication of Allah. Bless the person who listens. I mean, they take this to their friends and family. Muhammad Rasulullah. Peace and blessings of Allah be with one and all. Assalamu alaikum. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Ameen. Ya man. Allah. La ilaha illa huwa al-Rahman al-Rahim Al-Malik al-Quddus al-Salam Al-Mu'min al-Muhaymin al-Aziz al-Jabbar Al-Mutakabbir al-Khaliq al-Bari Al-Musawir al-Ghaffar